Hello from Hotel Plaza Boulevard. We're right over by Crossroads, which there's not really much of anymore at the moment. It's all gone. So many memories. <laughs> not a lot of memories, some memories. So we are going to Disney Springs tonight to eat some food and maybe have a beverage. Very, very different than what we usually do here. So we never park in the Lime Garage. We're going to try it. It's still pretty much spring break at the moment, so that might not work out for us. I'm focusing on my little green friend. Uh, but we'll see what happens. So we have parked on the top level of the Lime Garage, right back there, there's my car. And now we're going down to Disney Springs. The main reason that we're actually here today is to have dinner at Morimoto because of this commenter, Brandon, who super chatted in the last live stream that I did a little gift so that we could go to Morimoto Hi, Asia together and have some dinner. That was so incredibly sweet, nice, and I wanted to follow up on it. We're taking the elevator. We never take the elevator at Disney Springs, right? Right. <laughs> this is riveting content right now. Are we going to make it all the way down to the level that we want to stop at? I think so. Yay! Yay! This is where we're going through security. We're right over here. This is wild. We parked at the Lime Garage at Disney Springs. What has come over us? It's because we're going to Morimoto, or ending at Morimoto, I guess, tonight. All right, so I think we're going to go over to World of Disney, right over here first, and then maybe go to Wine Bar George. Mostly we're just trying to kill a little time before our reservation, which is in about an hour and a half. Remember when you had to get reservations to go to World of Disney a couple years ago? So we found the Disney 100 merchandise, which is literally right here as we walk into the World of Disney. There's a lot to see. They actually just debuted the 100th anniversary logo at Magic Kingdom, I'm pretty sure. And uh, not a lot of people like it too much because it looks a little bit weird in front of the train station. We'll see it at some point. Actually, I'll probably see it very soon. I'm going to Magic Kingdom. Futuristic. The design was another like really random memory that just popped into my head. Pretty much like right where we're standing. You used to be able to meet a princess at World of Disney in Disney Springs. You could meet a princess technically for free. Just like right here. Because this used to be, like this area used to be, what was it? Uh, Bippity Boppity Boutique? Yeah. Well, I guess it wasn't for free. You had to like have a reservation at the boutique, yeah. But still, you didn't have to go to a theme park to meet a princess. Over here, there are Disney lunch rooms, the 100 sections way over there. I feel like I've seen just so many different iterations of this sort of thing, right? They had Disney Simpsons, Disney Ramos, Disney Munchlings. There's a lot now. Do they all smell? Do they smell? They do, it's not obvious. I think I found my favorite Munchling so far, which is over here. This is pretty cute. But look at this. It's Baymax as a s'more. He is a marshmallow, right? Yay. I don't think we're gonna really explore all of World of Disney, but we just wanted to duck inside here real quick. There's some fun stuff over here for Winnie the Pooh. This is a fun bag. If there's anything that I've learned about just these bags, there is an endless amount of lounge fly <laughs> bags representing every single niche and interest in the entire planet. From every convention that I've gone to. Brendan really likes this Winnie the Pooh. Guess how much he is. Should I guess? Yeah. Okay. Um, $85. Lower. Oh, okay. $50? Close. $60? Is this the video? Just me guessing. <laughs> it's $45. Winnie the Pooh. That is very reasonable. He looks so happy. You think too. that's reasonable? I think so. He's huge. I thought he would be like $35. Really? Yeah. I don't know. The like the, the tiny little plushes are like thirty dollars now. Okay, we came back to the actual plushy section. Let's see what the price of uh, an average Mickey is. Average Mickey. Yeah. Uh, Thirty-five. How much is it? Thirty dollars. Okay. See? Pooh is much bigger than this. Okay. How much is this? Well, I don't know. <laughs> How much are you, Mick? Or many? How much? Fifty-five. Okay. Oh, she's heavy. And we're just way over there. This is the Pixar section back in the back. This used to be sort of the 50th anniversary section of Disney Springs, and I think we're heading out here in just a minute. So we stumbled upon these cups over here, which I've been looking for these for sort of a long time. These are cool. Aren't they cool? And they allegedly scream, but maybe you have to insert batteries into them to actually make them scream. But yeah, I've looked for these on Shop Disney before, but I just haven't committed to getting one yet. I don't know, maybe one day. Brennan found a Disney. I guess it's not just dogs, there's all sorts no, of animals. It was just cute, it. it caught my eye, and it's, it's thick. This like, sweater. It's like, 
Oh, I'm struggling. There we go. Cool. Feel the sleeve. I'm feeling it. There it is. <laughs> I like your sweater that you're wearing right now, though. I do too. I guess they have an entire line of all of these products for the animals here, so that's pretty fun. I think we're gonna be okay right now, but it is definitely tempting. I've never been super crazy about this sort of a design where I don't know all the characters have these like very dilated looking eyes. It is very cute. I think it's just like the particular character design that I'm not like the biggest fan of personally, but they do have a lot of this cool stuff if you if you like that design. Okay, so we just exited out of the world of Disney and now I think we're actually going to try to go into the Lego store. All right, there's a little bit of a line right now, but we have not been in the Lego store in I don't even remember how long. Everyone else is just ducking underneath the, the stanchions, but we're going all the way down and back like good people, right? Rule followers. High five. Ow. Why'd you put your hand that close to your face? Okay, so we pretty much just walked straight inside. We didn't really have to wait at all, and I already see what I want to look at right over here. So they have a Shrieking Shack and Whomping Willow. They have the Ministry of Magic. There's a little bit of a glare on it. They have Dumbledore's Office. They have the Hungarian Horn Tail. They have the Hospital Wing. They have the Room of Requirements. And then, of course, they have the almost $500 Hogwarts Castle right there. That is incredible as well as Hogwarts Express up there, which Britain is currently checking out right now. That's so cool. Is this incredible? Very expensive though. It's got the characters from the, the final movie. Oh, okay. So this is epilogue. Apparently, Hogwarts Express. There's some Jurassic Park and Super Mario sets over here as well. That's pretty cool. I got this one right here for like a, a third or a half of the price, so that's pretty neat. This is pretty cool. There's a Haunted Mansion. This is actually kind of neat. This is only $40. It's actually very reasonably priced. I don't know if I can commit to doing Lego though, it's expensive. All right, so we're at the build your own minifigure area right now and what we're doing is we're each gonna grab a handful and <laughs> make a minifigure for each other based on what we pulled out of there. Okay. So I think the experience was much more creative than mine. <laughs> that worked out really well. And I don't know what this is. Oh, oh, oh was it like an oh. eggplant or like a flower? I don't know. Okay, so I think we're heading, that's pretty cool, right? I think we're gonna go ahead and head out of the Lego store. Now that was fun. We have not been in there in so long, so that was just sort of to go back in there. Okay, so I think now we're heading over to uh, Wine Bar George, because for whatever reason, I'm sort of in the mood for some wine. And I feel like Wine Bar George might have some wine. Really? They might. This will hopefully be somewhat convenient, because it'll be near uh, Morning Moto Asia, maybe? We haven't been to the, uh, the booking place here in sort of a while. It's look good. It's starting to rain a little bit. There's like the roaming piano way over there. This is outside of Uniqlo. I love the twinkling lights at Disney Springs. I just, when I first started coming to Disney Springs, just that's just one of the memories that I have. So I'm glad that they're still here. It's definitely raining a little bit. It's not bad by any means, and you could definitely not see it on camera, but hopefully we can go over to Wine Bar George and, and get inside before it actually does pick up a little bit. I brought an umbrella. So Morimoto would have been sort of back in that direction, but around the corner is Wine Bar George. It'd be great to come back to the boathouse to enjoy some food over there. Really, any restaurant that we've been to before, but it's also fun to try new things, right? Yes. And we did go to Morimoto Asia. We've been there before together. We but did go with your parents a few it. months ago. <laughs> so that is Wine Bar George, but they do have a walk-up window over here called The Basket, where you can get wine, meat, and cheese. This is across from Gideon's, which we have not come back to since we went there once, because I, I'm not the type of person to wait in line for a cookie. Okay, so we just ordered from The Basket, and Brennan just tried her beer. So you got Ooh, it's tart. the Yuzu Ginger Beer, and it's tart? Oh, it got me right here. <laughs> really? There's an Orimoto right behind you, back over there. So this is La Perlina. This is a Moscato from Italy. <laughs> that is actually like, that is sweet, mm -hmm. but like in a tart sort of a way. And not like a sweet Moscato like I'm usually used to. That is very good. I'm glad that I got that. I like sweet wines. So I also wanted to get the cheese and the meat box just to go along with our drinks. This is cheddar, manchego, calabrese, and mortadella, and then some sauces over here. This is fig preserve, honeycomb, and mustard, which is a little bit blurry. Uh, but then we have some like crackers and uh, some bread here to go along 
with all this. So this should be uh, pretty pleasant. Hope we can enjoy this and then head over to Morimoto Asia. Heading over towards Morimoto, I still have my uh, my Moscato right now. I almost said mascara. Uh, I don't know if this is a virtual line for Gideon's, but there's a very long line for it. So there is sort of like a quick service window way down there, but we are heading inside Morimoto to check in and hopefully get our table. All right, so we checked in. A few minutes early, so we're just waiting for our table to be called. We're over here by the bar. This is the entrance right here, and we'll see if we get seated upstairs or downstairs. So we were way over there at the bar. That's the entrance, and we were seated downstairs. When we came with Brennan's parents, we actually sat right up here, so I'll probably run upstairs in a little bit to show like an aerial perspective of Morimoto Asia because it is very beautiful in here, and it we haven't come here as much as we probably should. It's really good. Okay, so we ordered our food. We have a lot of appetizers here at the table. So uh, this is the Kani Kama Rangoons. Uh, these are crab meat and cream cheese spring rolls with apricot sweet chili sauce. And then over here we have some dumplings. Chicken lemongrass. Yes. Let's see, I'm trying to pull it up on my phone so I can read it. <laughs> so it'll be lemongrass chicken dumplings, which is chicken, sweet corn, onions, scallions, lemongrass, and fish sauce. And then over here, these are the shumai, which pork is purse-shaped dumplings filled with pork, shrimp, mushroom, and Tobiko caviar. These are so good. And then right here, I uh, just got the pork egg rolls, which is pork, cabbage, and apricot sweet chili sauce. <laughs> okay. Brennan's sitting right over here. I wanted to run upstairs, though, really quickly just to see what it looks like from upstairs. Again, we sat right over here when we came with Brennan's parents for her mom's birthday. This pickle, there's a bar upstairs as well. But there's Brennan. She's just helping herself to all of the appetizers. Better go downstairs and claim mine before they're gone. So this is what my plate looks like, and Brennan and I did end up getting a couple drinks here. So I got this. This is the lychee martini, which is absolute lychee liqueur and lychee berries. And then Brennan got the Japanese Old Fashioned, which is Suntory Toki Whiskey. Simple and Angostura bitters. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy this, and then hopefully our Appetizers, or no, our entrees will be here soon. So the rolls have arrived. They actually put it on a plate, so we're just being adorable and sharing one single plate here. <laughs> so this is what Brennan got. She got the spicy tuna, which is tuna, spicy mayo, and scallion. And then I got this. This is the spider roll, which is tempura, soft shell crab, spicy mayo, cucumber, and asparagus. And then it, so this did take a little while, which we were totally fine. We were just sitting here, just chatting and talking. And the waiter actually brought up this edamame with sea salt because he felt bad that it was taking so long, but we've just been, again, just enjoying this spirit and the ambiance of <laughs> uh, Morimoto Asia. So <laughs> that was unnecessary, but very much so welcome. So we are outside of Morimoto right now. That was so good. Thank you so much to uh, Brandon for yes. that super chat. That made it just, that, that was just the perfect excuse to finally go back here together. And That's the best tuna I have ever had. Both and our times. waiter was phenomenal. I don't know, just like all of the appetizers that we got and just our sushi rolls. And now we're going to get some dessert. So this is the line for Gideon's right now, which is a lot shorter than it was before. I think we kind of trapped ourselves. We might have to go back. But we're heading over to Salt and Straw, which I normally don't really want to go to, but we're going today. All right, so we're heading down the bridge right now towards Salt and Straw because there's a particular flavor that I was very curious about. I don't normally like Salt and Straw, but my curiosity got the better of me today. I'm crossing by Disney Style right now, and Salt and Straw is way down here, almost by Splitsville and AMC. All right, so here we are at Salt and Straw. Let's see if they have the flavor that I heard about. So there's a bit of a line for it right now, but I think this is the one that I was hearing about, this mango habanero IPA sorbet. I didn't know it had habanero in it. No, man, I don't know. So we did get in line, but it's a very long line and it wasn't really moving. So that's probably a sign that you I totally should not get the it. Idea anyway, like the habanero really green. I know, I really wanted to get it though, but the habanero. I was expecting just like a, like a beer ice cream. That's what I think I would have wanted. But I don't know, the idea of like a mango IPA could have been nice. Your sweater reminded me of the announcement that was made recently about the new Harry Potter HBO series that's apparently going to be happening. Yeah. I'm optimistic, but we'll see what happens. It's a little bit hard to see at night, but this is the Summer House on the Lake construction across from um, Salt and Straw. So that'll be fun, just at another restaurant here at Disney Springs. So we were walking past Disney Style, and I was going to walk right past it, but then I saw these shirts in the window. Isn't that cool? Look at all of that vintage Magic Kingdom. And there's this one right here. That's the thing that scared me as a child. I have to get it. Really? Yes, that the, exact clue. The snail? Yes. Cool. 
crazy. There's the design I was talking about a little bit earlier. I think it's like a Funko Pop sort of a look, because I'm not crazy about Funko Pops, and maybe that just being translated into Disney art. Maybe that's just what's a little bit off to me. But look at this jacket over here. I think it's a jacket, right? That's pretty cool. There's a very niche amount of opportunities where that would be appropriate to wear probably, but it's still pretty cool to see. This is really neat. Look at this. I can see you through it. Say hi. <laughs> I really like classic looking stuff. I'm sure I'm incredibly comfortable. A lot of this would be pajama pants. And then of course Crocs. I'll never like Crocs, I'm sorry. If you like Crocs, it's okay. You're allowed to like and love what you like. But I don't like Crocs, Vernon. I don't like Crocs! Just like an Alice in Wonderland collection here too. And then again more of this. Do you want to wear the bucket hat? That does look kind of comfy. Look how stylish. It's kind of cozy. That does look pretty good. Okay, I think we just wanted to pop into Disney style here. I do like a lot of this though, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's head back towards the garage. It would have been more convenient to park in the orange garage, but of course this is when we did park in the lime garage because I presume that we would have ended over by the lime garage. That is adorable. Oh, that's neat. I also have some fun Dumbo stuff here as well as like some just Fantasyland stuff over there. Some Moana stuff and then some pretty cool shirts. I really do like that one. Oh man, I have so many Disney shirts. I have some vintage looking ones up here as well. Like these are just so pleasant to look at. And then this one with Donald on it. Oh man. This one just for the castle, that's just so simple. What's over here? Look at all this. Man, Disney style. I just have such good stuff, such simple shirts. Is there anything I should get? Should I get the shirts? <laughs> yeah, you did it back. Oh man. Okay, so we're over by Planet Hollywood and the Coke store and of course the orange garage way over there, which we did not park in for the first time, and I totally did get this shirt because I really liked it a lot. Luckily the garages are not really that far apart. I'm just trying to be dramatic for the sake of it. And just a few minutes later, we've made it back to the Lime Garage. That wasn't bad at all. What was I complaining about? Now we're almost back up to the very top level of the parking garage because somebody, me, it was me, decided to park on the topmost level of the Lime Garage. Isn't that funny? That works out sometimes. So thank you for coming with us to Disney Springs. Thank you to Brandon thank you. for enabling us to go to Morimoto Asia and just having a really really nice dinner at a place that we really like and just haven't gone that often but oh i'm sorry but we need to do a lot more because it is worth the price it is it, it is it is fantastic atmosphere and ambience the service is phenomenal the food is fantastic uh, and then we just explored disney springs a little bit went to the lego store went to the world of disney there's live music all over the place i got a really cool shirt didn't get some ice cream but it's okay because salt and straw i don't know how i feel about salt and straw it it's just kind of weird to me, but, but we'll come back at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, and then we, yeah, we got some uh, charcuterie and some drinks at Nine Bar George. It was a different night at Disney Springs. I was Springs. happy you suggested, like, because we had never gone to the basket before and I've always wanted to, and the charcuterie board was really nice, and just like another little window to go to to maybe get drinks on the go was really nice. Yeah, so, it's good to know that for that. next time. Yeah, well, it was just sort of a, I don't know, surprise for myself too, but I was like, <laughs> I am in the mood for wine for some reason, so Nine Bar George. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Have a My camera died for some reason. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And goodbye. Goodbye.